The drama within the FNCS Global Championship and the competitive community hasn't stopped the past couple of days, as yesterday Taysen actually got banned on Fortnite for being toxic, and this comes after he was declined the backup spot for Globals after he requested to be one yet again, since he first declined the opportunity to be one since he didn't think there would be a player that would miss LAN, and we also got news on if an FNCS winner will be playing at the LAN or not, and we also have some more drop changes to talk about for the LAN once again. So before I get into this video, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. If you are seeing my videos for the first time, or returning viewer and not subscribed yet, as over 80% of the people who watch my videos are not yet subscribed to the channel. Now let's get into the video, and the first thing I want to go over is Taysen being banned for what appears to be a 14-day ban, and this actually means a lot more than you think. As a 14-day ban means that Taysen could potentially miss either the OG FNCS if that is to happen, or Chapter 6 Season 1's FNCS, as a 14-day ban causes you to either miss the current FNCS or the next FNCS if there is no event. So unless the FNCS Global Championship counts for everyone, that means Taysen would miss one of those FNCSs I just mentioned. Now the reason he got banned is apparently replying the Twitter profile picture of the Blast employee that told him he cannot be a backup for LAN to somebody on Twitter after he got declined to be a backup. Now we can't be 100% sure this is the exact reason, but this is what Taysen said is the cause of his ban. Now I get why he got banned for this. Epic and Fortnite take these things pretty serious and could be making an example out of him here. But if he were to miss the next FNCS because of posting a profile picture of an employee with no harsh caption or anything, I feel like that's a bit extreme to me. Missing an FNCS that might not even be for six months because of a 14 day ban in August is a bit wild to me. Let me know your thoughts on the Taysen ban situation below. And if you think him potentially missing the next FNCS is worth this offense he did or not. But now let's go over the players who once again will not be playing globals as of right now. And the players that will not be participating in land yet again are pretty much the same. We still have Turtle missing the land for personal reasons, Arrow missing the land because of Visa, Milo missing the land because of Visa, Knight missing the land because of Visa, Pixel missing the land because his account is inactive or banned, and Vanya, the FNCS winner on EU, will not be playing in the land because of Visa. But apparently, Vanya does have his last chance of getting his Visa approved, which is happening today. So he's not 100% not in land yet, but I'm going to guess he's probably not going to get accepted. But if he does, that would be insane. And I'm really hoping he does get accepted. But I think based off of the previous attempts of him getting accepted, it's not looking too good for him. And based off of those players not attending, these are the new duos we have for LAN as of now. We have Cheeps playing with Iyamzo due to Turtle not playing. Gon playing with Kwani due to Knight not playing. And I have heard Gon actually does understand English very well. He's just not the greatest English speaker. But based off what Gon's been telling me and interacting with him, I think him and Kwani should be fine. Then we have Aiders and Rise playing because of Pixo and Milo. And Swizzy does not yet have a teammate as he's still waiting for Vanya to be 100% declined. But he will most likely be playing with Yapko if Vanya gets declined again. And then we have Wixie who does not yet have a teammate due to Arrow not playing. So Wixie will have to choose one of the backups as well. And he might have a backup in mind. He just hasn't really made it public yet. And then once again, going over the drop map, once again, the raft is quad contested. We have Trashy and Threats. Then we also have Swizzy who will either be staying with Vanya if Vanya gets accepted or he's most likely going to be staying at the Wrath with Yapko and landing here regardless. Then we have Kazi and Aspect, the OCE duo, and then Peterbot and Puyo once again, of course. So the Wrath is yet again quad contested at land as of now. So we're going to have to see how Peterbot can maneuver a quad contested Wrath and see if he can still win the Global Championship if it stays like this for land. Then other notable drop changes, we have Yanis and Pixie being contested by Kadu and Siyun now. An EU versus Brazil matchup. This is going to be a fun one on land. This is two pretty big fan bases going at it. So that's definitely going to be an interesting one to watch at land. And then lastly, we have CZB and Nathan and Cal and Seven Man fighting at Grand Glacier. And CZB and Nathan were one of my underrated teams going in and now they're contested. So sadly, they're probably not going to do as good as I think. But I still think they should handle Cal off spawn and do very well. And then pretty much everyone else is in the same situation as before. Clicks on Khan, Cooper on Khan, Boog on Khan, and a bunch of other teams uncontested still, and will probably remain uncontested heading into the land. 
But the overall look of the map is pretty much the same as my last video with a couple of other small changes. And if you guys are looking for more predictions from me, I'll be making a prediction video sometime next week. So stay tuned for an actual predictions video for LAN. I want to make sure the player situations, team changes, and drop changes are pretty much final before I make a prediction video. But if you guys did enjoy this video, once again, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on notifications for more videos just like this and to be caught up on everything Fortnite competitive related and also drop a like as well if you enjoyed it so more people can see this video. That's going to do it for me in this video giving yet again another update on globals and also the crazy taste and ban situation. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.